Hey guys, this is Alan and today's topic is going to be how to protect your mango tree in the winter time. In order to protect your plants during the winter time, you need to understand what type of protection your plant actually needs. It's, is it frost sensitive or is it cold sensitive? So, mangoes, that's what we're talking about today. Mango trees are cold sensitive. How cold sensitive are they? In my experience, most mango varieties will be able to take temperatures in the low 30s. Now you have to understand guys, the temperatures are not that important. What's actually important is how long you actually stay at those temperatures. 30 degrees for one to three hours is not the same as 30 degrees for 20 hours straight. So keep that in mind when actually protecting your plants. So far in my experience, after growing mangoes for a few years, hundreds of them, through the winter time, I have noticed that mangoes will actually be able to take temperatures in the low 30s briefly. What's briefly guys? I'm talking about a few hours, you know, one through five hours maybe. Um, but another thing you have to keep in mind too is plants are living beings just like you and I. And just like you and I, we are all different. What that means is just because this one variety of mango made it through one winter without taking any damage, it doesn't mean the other one will actually do the same. Even mango trees within the same varieties will react to their winter temperatures differently. I have seen trees within the same varieties take damage one winter and not take damage the next winter even though it was actually colder. And this is potted uh, mango trees in a container or mango trees in the ground. Another thing to keep in mind is a tree that is fully rooted in the ground just like my mango tree right here will always be a lot stronger and tolerate the sun, tolerate drought, and tolerate the cold a lot more than a tree that is not fully rooted in the ground. If you're growing mango trees in areas, non-tropical areas, that means you actually get cold during the winter time. Don't expect your trees to actually grow fast. In my area, I lived in Arizona, our growing season is a lot longer than most people's. But even here, mango trees, once you put them in the ground, they will take over one year to actually fully develop the root system into the soil. Now let's talk about winter protection. How do you protect your mango tree in the winter time? Now, we know mango trees are cold sensitive. What that means is the only way to protect your mango tree during the winter time is by actually changing the ambient temperature around them. And that is the only way you can do it. There is no other way. Now, how can you achieve? Um, how can you achieve that during the winter time? There are two ways to do that. The first one is you live in an area within your city where your microclimate doesn't really get that cold. Low 30s briefly every single winter, and then that's it. As long as you protect your mango tree from the cold wind or the frost then your mango tree will make it through the winter time without any additional protection from you. Now, let's say you live in an area just like I do, where the temperatures are actually colder than the, what the forecast says. Usually in my area, I'm about up to 10 degrees colder than the forecast. If the forecast says 30 degrees, I'm 20 degrees right here. So the only way I know that for sure is because I have thermometers throughout my whole yard and I have been recording my temperatures through every single winter so I know exactly which areas are colder or warmer than others. Now, the second way to protect your mango or to actually change the ambient temperature around them is by building a temporary greenhouse just like this one. Every winter time, we build this cold frame. And what this frame does, it retains the heat being radiated from the ground within the structure and prevents it from escaping into the sky. So it keeps it a few degrees warmer in there. Now, so far with just this structure right here, I know 100% this tree will survive if the ambient temperature on the outside is in the high 20s, briefly. What's briefly, guys? Once again, only a few hours. I'm talking about one through five hours, maybe. Anything longer than that, then you risk your tree taking damage because plants are just like you. They feel different every single year. And then even plants, remember I just told you, within the same varieties will act differently every single winter time. Now, the cold frame will actually keep the temperatures in there warmer, a few degrees, just enough to keep the plant alive through the winter time. But sometimes, here in my area, I drop into the low 20s. Now, at that point, 
the cold structure alone, it's not enough to protect my mango tree. So what I have to do is I have to use external heat sources. What that means is you actually have to put a heater in there, guys. Now, these are the two types of heaters that I use here and actually currently using them. But so far, our temperatures haven't been that cold. But just to be safe, I use this 500 watt heater right here. And this one keeps the temperatures in there a few degrees warmer than the outside temperature. So if it's 25 degrees on the outside, it will be about in the low 30s inside the structure just with this 500 watt heater. Now, remember, guess what happens if this heater fails, um, breaks in the middle of the night? Well, your plant's gonna take damage. And it doesn't matter how long your tree has been in the ground, if the temperatures outside or inside the structure get cold enough, your tree will take damage as well. So just to be safe on the coldest nights, when I know for sure it's gonna be really cold, and I can usually tell how cold my night temperatures are going to be based on the day temperatures that day, I put another backup heater in there, and this is a propane heater right here. So this one, um, it's about, I think, 2,000 to 2,500 BTUs on the low setting. So I turn that on as well as this one right here, just to be safe. So in case this one fails for whatever reason, I have a backup plan in there. I put a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of money into growing this mango tree here. This is just one out of three mango trees that I have in my property. I don't have that many because as you can see, this is a lot of work, guys. If I don't have my heaters going and it gets in the low 20s inside the structure, my mango tree will take damage. Now, obviously this mango tree here has been in the ground for a few years now, so it's a lot stronger than another tree that you know has been just planted in the ground for a few months. So if this plant right here takes damage during the winter time, what's gonna happen is a lot of the leaves are gonna start uh, browning up just like this one right here. This is from the summer because it went dry, but cold damage will look just the same. So that is only cosmetic damage. But let's say your tree gets exposed to the cold temperatures a lot longer, or your tree, for whatever reason, it's a lot more sensitive to the cold. So at that point, your leaves will take damage, and then your branches, the branches that don't have any bark on them, will also take damage. If the branches themselves take damage, then your tree will start dying back. How much? That depends on how much damage it actually took that night. At that point, guys, the only thing you can do is to protect your tree so it doesn't take any more damage. And then, I wouldn't cut anything yet. I will just leave it alone and wait until springtime to see how much it actually died back. And at that point, you can just trim all the dead stuff off. So what, what are the disadvantages of not protecting your mango tree? For one, if your tree takes damage during the winter time, in my area, which is, which is not a tropical area, it will take over a year to two years for that tree to recover. So what that means is in that time, you are not gonna have any fruits, your tree may not flower, and you will still have to protect the following winter. And if it takes damage again, then you're resetting the clock. So that is the main reason why I put a lot of time into protecting my mango tree in the winter, because I want my tree to fruit every year. I, I, wanna, I wanna get some benefit out of it. I don't wanna just look at it. Um, so that is why I have to build a cold frame. And when it gets in the low 20s, I have to put uh, external heat sources in there. And that is cold protection for your mango trees, guys. So. As a summary, mango trees are cold sensitive. The only way to protect them in the winter is by changing the ambient temperature. How much? That depends on your local area. If you get really cold in the winter time, that means low 20s, single digits, or in the negatives, you are going to have to run these heaters a lot longer, or you may even have to have more heaters inside the structure to actually change the ambient temperature inside that structure. The best way to do that is um, if you look back there, you can see I have my thermometer. 
So every day, or when I know it's gonna be really cold, I come out here and I check my te temperature inside the structure. So I know that my heaters are actually keeping up the temperatures. Um, I only have that just uh, so that way I can check the temperatures for, for my own benefit. Uh, Cause I know what my temperatures are here every single winter time. And I know the coldest winter temperatures with hat here are 19 degrees for about 12 hours straight for a whole week. Now you have to understand I live in, the, in Arizona, so our day temperatures are always warm. We never get really cold during daytime here. The only time that I really have to worry about my temperatures are going to be nighttime. But about two years ago, my temperatures dropped to 19 degrees and it was the coldest we have ever been here. But even then, my mango tree made it just fine like you see it right now. We are at the beginning of uh, January 2021 and uh, my mango tree is doing great so far. So I keep the thermometer in there just to check the temperatures and, and keep recording them because the temperatures will always change from one winter to another. So if you have your mango tree outside and you didn't have to do this much work to keep it alive, then you're lucky. Your microclimate's warmer, but don't get complacent because just because your mango tree made it through one winter, it doesn't mean it will make it through the next because if the next winter it's a lot more uh, colder, then your mango tree will take damage. Now, how long do you have to do this? That is the main question that I get asked. Well, if you get cold in the winter time, that means you drop below freezing. You will always have to do this forever for the life of the tree. So if you're trying to, uh, if you're starting to uh, get into um, mango trees, uh, keep that in mind. You will always have to do that. And if you forget one night to protect it and it drops really cold um, and your tree takes damage, you will lose everything you worked for for years. So my tree right here, this one's a fruit punch. It has been in the ground for about four years now. Uh, I learned the hard way how to protect them because four years ago, I had no idea what I was doing. I threw a blanket on top of the tree thinking that's what you do to protect your cold sensitive plants and it died back halfway. It died back all the way down here. Um, I lost about six feet that, that year and the tree took about two years to come back. But in that time, I learned how to cold protect plants and uh, that has never happened to me again because uh, well I like my trees I don't want it to suffer so this is one way you can actually protect your mango tree I have another video where I talk more in more details how to uh, protect your cold sensitive plants so if you look at the description below you can actually check that video out it will give you more ideas how to cold protect your trees uh, but I want to show you something before I leave and uh, let's go this way all right, before I finish this video, I wanna show you uh, something that uh, it will you know, give you a better perspective of what I'm talking about. So this mango tree is an orange essence. Um, you see the area, if you look around, you can see the microclimates and uh, this tree has been sitting in that spot right there for about three years now. This tree right here, made it through 19 degree ambient temperature. But if you look around the area, you can see I have a lot of wind blocking here and I also have a lot of frost protection. Now the microclimate in this little spot right here is usually a few degrees higher than the actual ambient temperature out in the open. But this mango tree right here made it through 19 degrees ambient temperature, 12 hours straight for a whole week. Now, how did that happen, guys? Yes, the microclimate helped it a little bit, but you know what? That same year in my greenhouse, that one night that I forgot to turn my heater on because I did not think my temperatures were gonna, were gonna drop that low for that long that night, I lost over 100 mango trees inside the greenhouse, all clustered together, radiating heat, making the ambient temperature a little warmer than the outside but I forgot to turn my heater on inside that greenhouse and I lost over a hundred mango trees that season. So, a lot of the things that I tell you guys, I made the mistakes already. So I'm trying to show you uh, my experiences so you don't make the same mistakes. Now, 
it's an it's orange essence a cold hardy variety will this variety actually take the winter temperatures a lot better than other mango trees no i learned that the hard way as well over the years i have seen mango trees take damage one winter and not take damage the next this orange essence uh tree, mango tree here did not take any damage but i have several of those same varieties inside that greenhouse right in the middle of about 100 mango trees and those took damage inside that greenhouse the same variety and winners before that one i have i've had varieties take damage and then other varieties in different areas not take any damage and then the same varieties that did not take damage one winter then they take damage the following winter even though the temperatures are warmer so remember plants are living beings just like you and i and just like you and i we are all different there is not a single mango variety out there that will tolerate the winter uh, temperatures a lot more than another so keep that in mind when growing plants and when we're trying to uh, choose a variety treat them all the same because when you get complacent you will lose everything you work for in one night anyways guys if you have any questions comment below if you want to watch uh, future videos make sure you su subscribe and uh, I will see you next time